question from the brother's mic. Yes, carry on, brother. Hello, good evening. My name is Sivam. I'm from Malaysia. I'm actually uh, been all over the world to do the best to get the most uh, peaceful mind for all over the brothers. Okay, I have a company in Malaysia which have all the people working with me, including Africans, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, Thailand, and few other countries. Uh, what I find here, I would like to talk, I will be very pleased to, uh, and thanks to you all to give me opportunity as a last talk. I was following up these for many, around eight years, you know. So why am I disappointed here now? When you talk about the peace, it should not come from only the word. It should be come from the activities. Okay? The major things going on in the world is not in the way of peace. You must understand the most peaceful language is come from a love. What is going on in the Middle East now? It's politics. I just now don't want to voice out because the politician is here. I don't want to see any politician because the politician, the world become crashed. Okay? I want to soon in hunger because you know why, you know? So my question here is very, very clear. You cannot deny it. If we do the good thing and the best thing, even I giving the best thing to my staff, is from all over the world, I'm taking them as my own family, then when I die, he said, I didn't carry the good things. I didn't go to the correct place. Who went to the heaven and come back and tell that I never been the whole place? Brother, is, brother, what's you your see? question? Brother, 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 this is a question answer time. Yeah. What is your question? You have already My given a question. My is very clear. Yes, I was looking into the question that people putting on you. I'm very clear. It's all a basic question. I'm asking the floor. 80% or 90% of you, don't you understand what you say? You all should know very well. Is it in Quran? Everybody should know. You what you are explaining now, just now, it's all a basic, which I know. I have a lot of brothers working with me. For all My question is, you cannot deny a person, if he does, I mean, I respect all the religious, Hindu, you know, imagine some of them, you know what's the meaning of that? We respect all the religious, I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat fish, I don't chicken, I don't eat anything, okay? I got three children, I even touched my hand with my wife, you know. Just now you told me Hindu can marry more wife. I ever, never, never, even my wife die, I die. It's something like that. Brother has asked a question. Brother, yeah. brother I understood your question. You have given a short speech. Yeah, yeah. This is a question answer time. You are talking about yeah. practice and you are breaking the rules. Yeah, the rule, question, I got you. You give me a clear answer. If you are a non Muslim, if they do a lot of good things, you want to pay for the masjid or what, I've done everything for church and all. You are, tell, you are telling me that I don't get the correct message to go to the correct place? Brother, that's the question that if a non Muslim gives charity, etc., and he said that. Will you go to the correct place? Your question is everything garbled. You have to ask simple questions. You are giving short, short speeches. That you should not read book. You should practice Middle East. You have family. You said so many words, but there was no clear-cut question. A question should have a question mark in the no, ending. What I'm trying to say is very simple. Can, can you give me the answer? If non-Muslim, good things, even, even give our life to Muslim, we didn't do the best for you all, even when I die. Many people say, it's very pity if you're not Muslim. Is this correct answer? Brother is asking that if a non-Muslim does good things like he has given charity, so when he dies, will he go to heaven or hell? That's what I understand. Brother, the answer I already gave earlier. When you sit for an examination, like when I sat for my 10th standard ICSC, there were six subjects I had to pass. Science, English, Hindi, History, Geography, I had to pass. If I get 100 out of 100 in 5 subjects, and one subject, science, I get 10 out of 100, will I pass? I will fail. So similarly, the criteria to go to Jannah, to go to Paradise, is you should have faith, number one, righteous deeds, exhort people to truth, exhort people to patient and perseverance. You may be a righteous person, you may be giving charity, etc. But if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in the one true God, if you don't worship the true God, you fail the test. So for you to pass, you have to pass in all the four criteria. Iman, that is have faith, believe in one true God, should not do idol worship, should not believe in false gods. Number two, righteous deed. Number three, exhorting people to truth, that is dawah. Number four, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. So you, if you do not believe in the one true God, 
and do not worship him alone, associate partners with him. Under no circumstances in the next life will you pass, you will fail. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. I have a question. How Islam see if a person is without religion, but he is happy and satisfied to his life?